In this lesson, we will create the individual landing page of a gallery. If I click on any of this gallery, I should be redirected to a page where I can view the details of that particular gallery. So as the first step, we will add the route in our app.js. In this file, let's say after gallery slash add, we will add our own new route. We will create a new file for this gallery called gallery single. And we will continue to use the gallery controller for this route as well. The only change, I'll just move it from this to below this because it's view and then view slash id makes it easy to remember. All right. The next step is inside our gallery controller, we need to check whether we are getting this param or not. First, let add the dependencies. And then we will check whether the param exists or not. Now let's refresh and check if we are getting this console or not. All right. One quick step before we can check it is basically handle the click, right? We don't have anything to tackle that. So quickly, this is the HTML where the listing of the galleries are working. So this is my ng repeat. This is ng show. What I will do is add one more ng click equals view gallery I need to pass the ID so right in this let's just say location dot Do we have location? Yes, we have injected it. So on this, I'm just redirecting the user to this particular route. Should work. Refresh. The timeout is too long. Let me quickly reduce it. For now, just say 500. All right. It says this is not found which means we need to create public templates gallery what is the file name gallery single dot html now if we hit refresh all right it's loading just that we need the default stub refresh and we have it so yeah we are loading a page where if you can see it's a single gallery page with the id 1 this is id 3 so the basic thing is in place now how do we load the single gallery first of all go to our gallery controller let's see we have index we have store we don't have anything on show so we will say return gallery with user where id comma one and we get the first result should work ideally now to test that what we will do is here we have get galleries rather all galleries so we'll say get 
gallery by id it's a function pass the id all right it's a get request slash id and let's just say in my controller if we have route params dot id which means it's a single view of the gallery we will gallery model dot this pass the id inside the success function first we'll pass the response we'll create a scope object called single gallery which for now is empty and when we get the response we'll say scope dot this equals response just check whether things are working or not refresh all right so we are getting the gallery details with the user details as well we are good to go next step is remove this we don't need the console anymore and this one as well some documentation all right with this done the only thing which we need to do is quickly go to our view let's just say inside a p tag created by and this dot user dot name right and we have the created at as well Let's refresh right and I forgot the main thing which is single gallery dot name so we're loading gallery 3 which is trip to Ganpati Pule let's click here checking once more five days ago if we create a new one and then we click here and it says one second ago so this is how we can quickly get the listing as I showed you in my previous lesson and in this we created the individual listing page and the only thing is we don't have a hand cursor so I'll go to where is it we'll just make sure that we write some CSS rule so that it gives us a cursor so inside gallery view this is the ng repeat why don't we just do gallery container right and Cursor should be pointer. I think it should work. Let me refresh. Yes, it is working as intended. So, anywhere you click, you get the cursor. Click, click. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up icon or subscribe to my channel